so what we've noticed is a massive uptake and trend in non-drinking and Dry January sort of kicks it off for a lot of people. I've noticed the last few years it's got more and more popular. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, I think it's 27% of customers in January are doing Dry January. I definitely have seen a culture change and I think it will become more of a thing. So for us as bars, it really makes sense to start to include some of this actually fairly quite amazing drinks now that you can get that are alternatives to drinking. It's just wanting to feel involved with a beer in your hand or a gin and tonic rather than having to go for coke or the boring option. We've sold a lot of um, alcohol-free beers and all the spirits which is a new thing very new in the market. I think as we push spirits and people know about it, it will become more popular. It's replicating the flavour and I think the culture, the feel of having a drink. Gin and tonic's really popular, I'd say lots of people love it. The idea is it's premium, so you're having a nice tonic and you know you feel like you're treating yourself and having a night out without just, you know, as I said, having the diet coke. This is an actual shift for us and a, sh and a change to growing the range of non-alcoholic spirits because like I said we do see the trend a lot more people are taking it on further than January and um, what we want to do is be a destination in our, in our bars where people know that they can go and get a, a really decent drink that isn't that isn't alcoholic. For example with the rum which is really new I'd never seen it until about a month ago um, being able to do like a dark and stormy like we do a light and breezy which is uh, alcohol free even like a daiquiri you can do so it's good it's a bit more inclusive than it used to be and actually now the range of drinks that they can they, they can choose from means that they they do feel included in the night out 